para caballos. En general, ah, bueno, necesito tomarlas. I'm very scared with the horses. I think that I cannot stand, you know? Yeah, when you slap their butts, it will probably kick you. In, in a small horse or big? I like big horses. Yeah, before I ride a camel and then I ride a horse in a beach. Beautiful, huh? I was wearing pants and one shorts. <laughs> okay. I, I wonder if she can cook with you. I think she can. You can. Go with Shanti. Do you want or not? Because I'm a little shy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a dry tomato. This is dried tomato. Yeah, dry tomato. Yes. Yes? This is mayonnaise. There is very usual in our country, alioli too, you know, and mayonnaise. No, tell me, come here. Don't go. Habla de español, ¿verdad? ¿De dónde eres? De Venezuela y Francia. Oh, casi igual, ¿no? Cerquín. Venezuela and, yeah, and France. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Yes, a little bit. Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, I'm feeling very well because you are here. <laughs> because I'm very shy, eh? Yes. But, but you are with your... <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I met you in Masterchef TV show and also in the TV of such pain. You are very recognized uh, chef in Spain. I hope, I don't know, you know. Michelin star. <laughs> yeah, it's so much glamour, but life is another thing. But the, the plate is very well. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for coming. Thank you. Well, Lubina Frita in Adobo, you know, you have to try, please. For example, you, you, you have to understand that the Malaga people know <laughs> to fry better than people from Cali. Come on. You know, I, I don't know here, but in Spain there is a lot of regions and every, everybody, you know, are... Eso lo de Cali siempre igual, eh? Adiós, Ana. Oh, he, he talks, there is a fish, there is a lot of here, this kind of fish, that is uh, like a small shack, you know, it's something like this. Cazón, it's in Spanish, I don't know to say the name here. Baby shark. Baby shark? Yeah, baby shark for sure. It's really similar, you know, it's, uh, there is the traditional fish that normally you uh, use in adobo, you know, that is, uh, we have a lot of here, in Spain too. This is not <laughs> I, I only want that you feel your country in your mouth now. Creo que quiero que sienta un poco el sabor de tu tierra. Veremos. Thank you so much. Pleasure. No, no, no. Well, you, you, you deserve it. Yeah? Okay? Okay, I, I, I'm going to set you, you are, what you are going to feel, okay? You have the green gazpacho, that's very citrus, and you have the tomato, that is a very, with the, with the dry tomato, it's a little bit sweety, you know, it's salty, of course, 80% salty, but then it's a little bit sweety. This is very uh, emotional in your mouth, you know, because there is some different moments, and the lobster, of course, it's yours. No, no problem, no, no scared now, you know? Yeah, it won't explode, it won't break. Yeah. Now it's like a mousse. Mix it with a little Exactly, bit like a mousse. Take a little bit more green, Cafpacho, now. With lobster. Tell me something. Wow, I don't know this good or bad. Eh? 
I didn't eat like that in my life. <laughs> of course, you know. But I feel like it's juicy. And when you eat it, it's very sour because it's the, my first time to eat uh, t t tomato in my life. Oh, wow. Oh, I can't believe. Really? Yeah. You know something? Uh, I don't like uh, tomato when I was small, so I didn't eat it at all. When uh, my uh, my mom or uh, my father gave me a tomato, I didn't like it at all. So today, maybe I will change my mind. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know, but you have a Daniel Sia tomato all, every day at home. Eh? <laughs> Say to your fathers, okay? Thank you. Okay, now do you have questions? You know, you are very shy, eh? like me. No? I'm very shy. And my English is very poor, you know, but I'm here, you know? No scare. No, she, she asked me about my restaurants in Marbella, you know? We, we have restaurants around the world. Uh, I'm born in Marbella. My headquarters are in Marbella. We have three different restaurants in Marbella. There is a Vivo, a Lobito, and Leña. There is different brands. We have five restaurants in Madrid, one Tarifa, Ibiza, New York, London, and of course, Doha. There is a Vivo here in the Kempinski. And uh, we, have, we are going to open a new one uh, uh, in two months. Uh, that is Lobito de Mar, you know? Lobito de Mar in Kempinski and Vivo is in the San Regis. You know? And we are very happy to be here, you know? It's a, it's a very incredible country and it's very important for me and for our group to be to be here. Okay, more questions? You are going to Marbella, you, you have to go to my restaurant. <laughs> it's the Puente Romano Hotel. Puente Romano. There is Vivo, Lobito and Leña. We have three. And our headquarters of the company are there too. Okay, more questions? Oh, well. And you know, youth be needed. <laughs> my, my, my first de decision, to be honest, was I don't like to study. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go to the university, you know, and uh, I said to my mom and to my father, I don't want to go to the university. I say, okay, what are you going to do? You know? And uh, uh, Marbella is a very tourist. You know, we have uh, probably the best hotels in Spain. You know, it's a very area. You know, I and, and, and at this moment, open a new uh, culinary school close to my house, you know, only 30 minutes by car, you know, and I said, okay, I want to be our chef of metric, you know, uh, and uh, I have, I had to decide uh, uh, one of uh, each, you know, and for instance, I like to cook, I'm cooking with my mom, with my grandmother, here, my, my dad uh, cook a lot in weekend, you know, I love it, my culture, yeah, I'm going to try it. And my mother and my father said to me, you, are, you want to be a chef? You know? What are you doing? There is a lot of different professions that is very hard, you know? I said, yeah, but I don't want to study, you know, I have to do something. And my, my man really don't believe, uh, didn't believe in me, you know, at this moment, you know? Because 25 years ago, to be a chef, I, I don't think not only in Spain, in the world, you know, is not the best profession that you want for your sons or daughters, you know? Uh, and I said, now it's more usual, no? People can see you in the TV, you know, everybody wants to be a chef, you know, it's, it's more glamorous than 25 years ago, you know? But finally I decided and I said, okay, my, and my father said to me, you only one year, I don't think so, more than one year, and then you have to think another thing. But finally, you know, it's, it's my passion, you know, it's a very incredible profession. I know it's very hard, you know, because you are working on weekend, uh, Christmas, you know, it's, 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 it, it's not easy, you know, but, but there is very one important thing uh, because I decided to be a chef, finally. That is, you can uh, uh, cook with your hands uh, something that the people could be very happy, you know, there is, there is not all the professions have this kind of sensibility, you know, that you can stay close to somebody and you can feel that the people are happy and smile, you know, food is incredible, have a lot of uh, power, you know, in, in the world, and this is the reason. Uh, thank you so much, because you. same thing happened with me as well, because I also wanted to be a chef, 
So the same, same family thing, San Francisco. Really, you want to cook? Yeah. So at that.